Hello guys, this is Mike here at Mac Observer, and today I'll show you the difference between MacBook Air 15-inch versus MacBook Air 13-inch. The question remains, which one should you buy? There were several rumors about Apple releasing a larger version of MacBook Air, and they've finally come true. Apple announced the 15-inch M2 MacBook Air, alongside the M2 Ultra Sauce and the latest Mac OS Sonoma at WWDC 2023. However, in this video, let's find out how the 15-inch M2 MacBook Air stacks up against the 13-inch M2 MacBook Air. The most obvious and prominent change to the 15-inch M2 MacBook Air is its display and overall footprint. But let's dive deeper and take a look at other changes on the 15-inch M2 MacBook Air. As mentioned earlier, the 15-inch M2 MacBook Air has a larger display. Yes, the name itself specifies this. When compared side by side, the latest M2 MacBook Air has a 15.3-inch display, while the older, 2022, M2 MacBook Air features a 13.3-inch display. With an increase in size, there's also a bump in resolution. The 15-inch MacBook Air has a 2880x1864 display, while the 13-inch MacBook Air has a 2560x1664 display. The 15-inch M2 MacBook Air features a six-speaker sound system. These consist of two tweeters and two pairs of force-canceling woofers. They're designed and tuned to deliver twice the bass depth, which provides a fuller sound output. On the other hand, the 13-inch M2 MacBook Air features a four-speaker sound system. While it supports spatial audio and Dolby Atmos just like its larger counterpart, the audio output will likely fall short as opposed to the new MacBook Air. The 15-inch M2 MacBook Air now features an 8-core CPU and 10-core GPU paired with 8 GB RAM and 256 GB storage. It starts at $1,299. However, you do get a couple of extra GPU cores. So the 15-inch M2 MacBook Air is priced at a really sweet spot and is an excellent value for many users. The 13-inch M2 MacBook Air features an 8-core CPU, an 8-core GPU paired with 8 GB RAM and 256 GB storage. It starts at USD 1099. It received a $100 price cut with the launch of its larger variant. Apart from the above-mentioned changes, everything else on the 15-inch M2 MacBook Air is the same as the 13-inch M2 MacBook Air. Many expected the 15-inch variant to feature a promotion display with a higher refresh rate, extra ports, etc. Apple knows to play safe and won't sabotage its lineup of MacBook Pros that can be had for a bit more. So, even though we expected the 15-inch M2 MacBook Air to have extra features, it does not. Both of the M2 MacBook Air is so similar that you do not even get the larger model in a different color variant. There aren't many differences between the 15-inch MacBook Air and the 13-inch MacBook Air. The former has a larger display and louder speakers. These upgrades make the 15-inch M2 MacBook Air a perfect buy for users who don't need the extra performance offered by MacBook Pros, but want a larger display for editing, media consumption, etc. Several users resort to buying MacBook Pros just for the larger screen. Their workflow doesn't need M2 Pro or M2 Max SoC's raw processing power. Now, with the introduction of the 15-inch M2 MacBook Air, these users can get large display alongside compact form factor. So if you fall in this boat and want a laptop with decent performance, extremely good battery life and excellent display and speakers, the 15-inch M2 MacBook Air is the best bet. That's it for today, guys. I hope you'll make the best choice whenever buying M2 MacBook Pro 15 or 13-inch. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Mac Observer for more Apple tips, tricks, tech, and news. This is Mike here. See you next time.